Come here and buy my book. My book will change your life. My book will make you who you want to be, rich. Rich is who you are, and rich is who you shall be. But you have to read the book. Hey, mister. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be $50. $50 for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this, and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Sure. The best investment you'll ever make, my friend. Do you want to be happy, sir? Then you need to be rich. And the only way, the easiest way, the best way to get rich is to read about it in my book. This is the veritable Bible of success, my friends. This book will make you the person you have always wanted to be, a Rick Bully. You're still here? You are clearly in no rush to become rich beyond your wildest dreams. Listen, listen to me, friends. This book, this precious tome, this passport to earthly paradise, I have written it for you so that you can be like me, a rich, happy, successful man who is now dedicating his life to helping those with the wisdom to help themselves. Yes, I'm a philanthropist, an American philanthropist, I only help those who help themselves. Help themselves how, I hear you ask? Help themselves by reading this book. Read this book and save yourself. You'll live free from worry about money. You'll be in a mansion, not the workhouse. Your children will grow up wealthy and supercilious, not street urchins and thieves. Think about it. Think about you want freedom. You want happiness. You need money! It's all right here! I'd urge you to go home and study that book right away. Oh, oh, shit! I'm getting along. Oh, shit, no. Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan. Will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And... That's it. They're a union built on that, you know. Okay. Oh, hey, Arthur. What you want, Micah? Nothing. I'm just being civil, my brother. Well, hello there. You really are a very charming man, aren't you? Look at you. Sticks and stones. <laughs> Good morning, Arthur. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? 
Oh, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys cared for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. <laughs> long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes, and quick. She's in Rhodes? No, she's at a place called Radley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No, she spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. Yep. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. And I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said... You said your last words. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. Shit! What the hell? You... She thought it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now uh, catch that uh, bastard. Uh, the one in front. Get after them! Yeah. There! Straight ahead! I saw them go through those bushes! They're heading down the hill! To the water! And there they are, by the shoreline! Oh, you're gonna pay! All of you! Alright! I think that last... 
All right, I think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. You're making a big mistake. Stay away from me. I'm warning you. Come here. That's it. Now make sure you tie him up real good. Out of your hands now, mister. Make these nice and tight. All right. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. Now the he won't starts. be needing it no more. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. Funny... Shut the hell up. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Wow. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed coward. Go to hell. She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you Watch good now? All right, all right, damn it. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. Come on, man. So he's still alive, then? Ah. I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. Sadly, I agree with you. <laughs> Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 